Hi guys, welcome back to Bright Star Channel. Ding dong, class time now. I believe a lot of people are prefer to do some DIY. For example, Lego, IKEA furniture, or Gundam model. Today I going to show you how to build a gaming PC. Don't miss it out. First, you need to know what to prepare for an entry-level gaming PC. For the entry-level gaming PC, you need to prepare first processor, second motherboard, third RAM, fourth storage, either hard disk or SSD, fifth PSU power supply, sixth chassis, and also graphics card. This time, we are using Intel 9th generation Intel Core i5-9400F processor. Why we use this processor? Because 9th generation Intel Core i5-9400F processor priced as entry level and also with great performance. Therefore, we use this. Motherboard, we are using MSI MAG B365M Mota motherboard. And this motherboard is support ARGB and RGB sync function. Simple to say, you can sync up any RGB or ARGB sync the LED light. For the RAM, we are using XPG Gamex D10 3200MSZ DDR4 RAM. This RAM with 3200mAh and also with red colored heatsink looks great. Storage basically have 4 to 5 type option. For example, hard disk, SSHD, SATA SSD, M.2 SSD, and also PCIe SSD. For faster SSD is PCIe SSD at the moment. Therefore, we using XPG SX8200 Pro PCIe Gen 3 X4 SSD. The read speed up to 3500 MB per second. Write speed up to 3000 MB per second. Start up computer to window only 13 seconds. Power supply is using Thermotech Light Power 650 watts. Thermotech this brand was rewarded by Taiwan Excellent brand. For sure, product quality is tip top. And also, they have a lot of water cooling products. Chasis this time we using MSI ATS chasis. The model is MAG Vampiric 010. Chasis basically got four types. First type is ITS, smaller size. Second type, MATX, medium size. ATX, big size and last EATX biggest size. Today this era, gaming not belong to handsome boy only, but also a lot of pretty female gamers. Therefore, ITX is a good choice for a female gamers. For ATX and EATX usually is a super hardcore gamers. It has support custom cooling liquid system and also dual GPU and above. Are you the one hardcore gamer? Last, MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super Ventus SX OC Edition Graphics Card. We have used it to run few game test FPS result as below. Total War Warhammer 2 1080p Average FPS is 62 FPS. 1440p Average FPS is 44 FPS. Middle Earth Shadow of War 1080 Average FPS is 79. 1440p Average FPS is 54. Metro Exodus 1080p Average FPS is 41. 1440p Average FPS is 32 FPS. Last. Choose the right branding is very important. Today, what I introduced to you all was rewarded by Tower Excellent brand. Tower Excellent believe innovative makes a difference in everyone's life. Without further delay, let's check out how to build a gaming PC. The list of parts to prepare got motherboard, graphic card, power supply, processor, RAM, SSD or HDD. So, we need assemble motherboard, processor, SSD, and RAM. 
Let's unbox now. So, we need assemble motherboard, processor, SSD, and RAM. The first step is put the processor and the motherboard socket. So what we need to do is press the beside metal, move to right and pull out. The socket will move up as well. On the processor left bottom, we will have a golden triangle. This golden triangle is a remark to let you know right angle placement of motherboard socket. Once you have checked, then you can place it to processor socket. Then you can pull back the metal and close the socket. After you close the socket, the black color cover will auto jump out. Second step is install the RAM. To install the RAM very easy. Just unlock the RAM slot then you can place in the RAM. If the motherboard comes with 4 RAM slot, usually we call it dual channel RAM and must place to 2nd and 4th RAM slot first because 2nd and 4th RAM slot is a 1st channel. 2nd channel is 1st and 3rd RAM slot. Step 3. Install PCIe SSD. We will place the PCIe SSD at here. Make sure the SSD is soaked with 45 degree and screw it off. Next is install the processor fan. This is thermal paste. It transfer heat from processor to fan. First, let's untie the cable. Then take up the motherboard to install it. Installation very easy, just push into the socket. If you saw the socket does not lock, you just turn the lock and pull up, then push in again. Next is cable management. Just make sure the cable plug into the motherboard and make sure the cable does not affect fan working. First, we need to prepare chassis, graphic card, and power supply. The power supply we use is 650 watt. Graphic card is using MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super. First, we need to insert the power supply into chassis. Open the chassis cover. Untie all the cable. Take out the screw. and also the user menu. Then we place the power supply at the right place. Next, screw it all. Once complete, move to another side. Screw it all with the yellow color screw. Next is place the motherboard to chase it.
For motherboard screw, we using this round screw. Next is cable management. For cable management, pretty simple. Just gather all the cable that you can, use cable tie, tie it up. Then you can see a tiny and clean cable management. Due to inside chassis, very difficult to see. Therefore, we decide to take up to show you one by one. First point, the blue color port is for chassis USB 3.0. Need to plug in here. Second point, this is chassis USB port. Need to plug in here. Third point, this is HD audio. It's for chassis audio pop function. It usually located at left bottom. Fourth point, the small small cable is a switch and indicator light. First, we need to plug in this power LED plus and minus. Second, HDD LED and located below power LED. Third, power switch. It located at right side of power LED. Fourth, reset switch. It located at power switch. That's all, done. Once completed the cable, therefore we can unbox the GPU and proceed assemble. Graphic card here have 8 pin port for power supply provide power to GPU. Before we assemble the graphic card, we need to check which cover we need to open. Based on this situation, we need to open first and second cover to slot in the graphic card. So we can unlock the side cover first, then take off the first and second cover. After assemble the GPU, we need to screw it or the two screw. The screw is using hexagon screw. After this, remember close back the side cover as well. And last, connect the yellow black with egg pin from the power supply to graphic cards. That's all. Here you are. This is the gaming PC of today. Conclusion of today. If you really want to make your PC looks tiny and clean, you must put more effort to the cable management. Second point, when you placing processor, please be careful. I think you know the Intel processor don't have the pin, but the pin at motherboard there. Once you damage any pin, it will affect PC power on without display. 
still don't know how to install PC parts? Watch again la! Watch and do together. Confirm you will learn it. If still don't know, come find me. Buy the parts I teach you how to do. Don't forget subscribe my channel and open up the doorbell and comment your PC spec. Show off time! Alright, see you at next video.